Hi there, welcome to the Beetle Garage. What's next? Homo Deus Meli, this uh, famous stag beetle from Africa. Most of they come from Cameroon. Um, was a pair inside of this box 20th of April, four months ago. I want to check whether we were successful with this breeding of a pair of Homo Deus Meli because it's a very special beetle, the shape of the head. Um, with a flattened kind of a shovel between the mandibles of the male, so this is a really nice um, uh, insect for people who like beetles and want to breed some uh, exotic uh, beetles. If you want to see the pair, go back in the playlist, one step here in this homogeneous playlist, and you will see them there. So, what we see from the top interesting how the mushrooms come out here uh, also here a lot of them I think they still are from the from the shiitake from the shiitake pieces here and it's incredible how vital this um, mushroom is and in fact it's not found in the wild anymore so this is a, a really interesting question why why this uh, mushroom is so vital and can grow for years on uh, on, on rotten um, wood pieces and we can't find it in the wild it's only a cultivated species uh, so at least we don't know uh, where it should be found probably one day uh, some hidden spot in China somebody will find the wild shiitake. So until then we find them here in the in the beetle breeding boxes. There's a big piece of a, a wood log, a wood block here that's from a beach I think. So let's see whether we can find something in here. First what I take out is of course, of course uh, the the wood block and then we will see whether we find traces of digging larvas here. This seems to be a spot where you can see something. Could be that it's uh, made f from the from the female. Now this, yeah this also could be a piece of um, an entry or a, a lock. So I think we will have to open this block here and then we will see whether we find some larvas of Homo deus meli inside here. Now of course we see something that's uh, that's made by a larva for sure yeah let's see whether we can find it here also here or is it the tunnel that I was dug out by the female also here look but we don't see fecal pellets in this uh, dugout substrate, so that's mostly a sign that it was made by a female. So if we would see uh, fecal pellets here in this holes, that would be a sign that there's a larva, but this seems to be the work of a female and uh, why we don't see any larvas here that's hard to say there's two uh, possibilities one is that they are uh, very freshly made these these tunnels also here I mean the female must have dug through the whole block here and what we uh, should try to decide what we do with it. I think if there are any eggs in here still um, waiting for 
hatching, we just leave the whole block like this. So this seems to be not a block where we have active floor walls. And now let's go. Let's go deeper into this substrate. Here's another piece of wood. Now, so let's open it and have a look inside here. I mean, it's, it's traces of the traces here are so typical. It's completely, it's completely. Filled with these tunnels, but also here it seems to be the tunnels of not a larva, yeah, probably, yeah, but I'm more of a of a female. Let me see here. Ah, oh, here, look. Nowadays a, there is a larva for Moderus Meli here. Whoa. That's very nice, so we have to proof that she laid some eggs, so that's a very nice and good sign. Why? Because if you find one, mostly you find some others also. So, what we do, I just, I just don't disturb, because this is an L2 stage larva, I will um, just place all this material here in a box and later on I give it back to the box so that it can uh, develop for that's interesting the mushrooms with kind of a uh, um, um, rhizomorph structure so I check another piece of wood here Oh, yeah. And then, because if we have a sign that she laid eggs here, it could be that they takes a little longer for them to hatch, so we better leave them in here and wait another two or three months and then we come back and see again what happened to them yeah so we're practically on the bottom of the of the box but still I have no signs that there are some more while well, I was here so I will try to take out the whole stuff to just have a look on the bottom of the box, whether we see some more. And I was here, so it was filled on the bottom with kimchi, as you can see here, with kimchi blocks, but they, they seem to be untouched here. We said some wood pellets, but all of these practically untouched here. Yeah, no sign of rows in here. So, yeah, it's nice to see one of the larvas, and um, I hope that later on in these pieces uh, they will develop also. It seems like really it was a work for female that went to the whole block, and it could be that there are some more eggs here. So, well, thanks for watching and keep on watching or subscribe the channel to see what happens next year with Homo Deus Meli that you see this beautiful L2 stage larva here waving you goodbye goodbye everybody